Good morning. This is John from the Springs Mennonite Church. And I'm happy to be with you here again on a Tuesday. And I hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a good week. I'm expecting this to be a really great week, and I, I hope you are too. You know, God's always doing some great things. We're getting near the, the end of May here, and you know, pretty soon summer's going to be here. <laughs> it's amazing how, how fast time moves along. So I have a passage to share with you in my <clears throat> attempt to share some random scriptures. This one comes from Psalm 119. Now, if you haven't ever browsed through it, Psalm 119 is the longest psalm. It has actually 176 verses. That's a bunch. And I'm not going to read them all. <laughs> In fact, I'm only going to read one. Psalm 119, verse 114. It says this, You, that's the Lord, you are my refuge and my shield. Your word is my source of hope. Let me read that again. <clears throat> you, the Lord, are my refuge and my shield. Your word is my source of hope. <clears throat> well, I'd say, what does that mean? But I think I'd also have to say, it seems pretty simple what this means. But maybe it's not so simple. You never know. People look at things differently, and they understand things differently. I do, and <clears throat> I'm sure you do. So he starts out by making a simple Simple statement. You, meaning the Lord God, are my refuge and my shield. Now, what is a refuge and what is a shield? <coughs> well, let's start with a shield. We'll work backwards. A shield is that thing externally to you that you use to protect you from things that are coming in like uh, a shield that you, the Romans would have used. It was on their arm, covered their vital parts so they could use their sword with the right hand or left, whichever they were, and protect their bodies. Or one of those shields that go from, you know, chin down to protect your body. That, that's a shield. It's something to protect you from something that comes from the outside. Now, it also says you are my refuge. What is a refuge? Well, I think immediately of the term a wildlife refuge. And a wildlife refuge is a place where wildlife is are restored. They rest. They've lived a while. Maybe they've encountered something. And now they're recovering. I think of a, a rescue center, a refuge center, where people who have struggled can go to and, and rest. So what these two words convey is, one, God is something that shields you from that which comes from the outside, tries to hurt you. And two, when you're hurt, God is a place where you can go to rest and recover. Now, those are two pretty important thoughts. For most of us, you and me, everybody else, we've experienced times when people tried to hurt us. Maybe it wasn't physically. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't intentional, <clears throat> but still hurt. Maybe we could call it, instead of getting hurt, really disappointed. You know, have you ever really gotten disappointed with something? I, I bet you have. It might be something frivolous, like expecting uh, a phone call and you didn't get it. Or it might be something really serious, like somebody dies, or gets sick, or your spouse leaves you. 
my my son was telling me, unfortunately, about his friend who was on the road to recovery, and his girlfriend broke up with him, and he relapsed, started drinking, started doing drugs. Now, the good work he spent, oh, at least a year, he's got to start all over again. And I told my son, who struggles with issues, I said, I hope this teaches you something because you don't want to have to go back and start over again. <clears throat> the good thing is, in his disappointment, this guy can go back to, to the rehab center <clears throat> and start the process over. That's the good news. So many people don't know where to go. They don't know what to say. They don't know what to do. They just keep struggling and, and hope that somehow it's going to get better. Well, if we follow the worst, the advice of this psalmist, it's, it's the Lord who provides that. You, Lord, are my refuge and my seal. <clears throat> so if, if you're struggling or you just need some time to <sighs> recenter, as some people call it, then give the Lord a try. If what you're doing isn't working, then the worst can, that can happen is it doesn't work either. <laughs> and then you're right where you started from. You got nothing to lose. But then it goes on. There's one more piece to this. Your word is my source of hope. God's word, we call it the Bible, is the psalmist's source of hope. There's a lot of good stuff in the Bible that points you in the direction of hope. I know a lot of people use the Bible to pound people over the head, condemn them to hell even. See, the Bible says, well, yeah, the Bible might say that, but it also says something else. So I would encourage you today, you want some hope? Let the Lord into your life. Do you want to sustain the discipline? The, the, the recovery from despair, read the word, read the Bible. Don't start, at, don't start in the beginning. Start in Matthew. Listen to the words of Jesus. You might be surprised at what you see. Thanks for listening. Take care of yourself. I'll be back tomorrow with another idea. But in the meantime, if you have a need or a concern, let us know. We'll do whatever we can to help meet your need. Thanks for listening. I'll be back again.